And it, so, um, evidently, the mayor's office wants to make a special presentation and they're special, especially special two representatives. Mrs. Lisa Gardunia and Selena Celeste Rodriguez. I know it's a daddy. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming out for this very special memorial tribute. Tonight is also the last movie night of the Summer Skid Row Movie Night series. And so we just wanted to take time to really recognize some of the behind the scenes folks who helped make this possible. It was the entire community, but some people kind of pushed us a little extra hard. So we just have a certificate, a couple of certificates. Oh boy, when you get old, you need glasses. Um, so just on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, along with the mayor's office of economic opportunity, I'm pleased to commend you for your contribution to the first annual Skid Row Summer Movie Night series. The success of these movie nights was made possible by dedicated individuals like yourself. Thank you for your passion and ongoing commitment to the upliftment of the Skid Row community. So we have one for Mr. Kevin Michael Keyes. We have one for General Jeff, who I don't see tonight. And we have one for Mr. Manuel Campito, Mr. OG. So we'll hold those for them. So just thank you. Oh, shucks, man. <laughs> Since I don't have no volunteers, I'm gonna call Michael Blaze from Desert. I got oh, here we go. Here go Miss Karen Gilbert, location scout and friend. Hi, I also want to call up here Mark Wheeler, please. And Detroit, please come up. These are this. I don't know if anybody, uh, Detroit was in our film, Los Angeles. I was, uh, I worked on The Soloist and I worked on uh, Los Angeles. This, this is Mark, this is KK's brother. And we have been friends and family for a long time. And he's here to honor Molly and Linda uh, with the screening of Los Angeles. You wanna sing? Well, first I wanna thank the homeless community. This is my brother's community, so I'm here to represent. I love all you guys, no matter what. This is like a home to me. You might think that's crazy, but you just don't know. This community touches me. These are my friends. Lamp community is feel like home. Um, it's, it's nothing more I can say. I'm here in my brother's spirit. He's here to tell you guys that he loves you guys. He think about you guys all the time. And just keep up the hope, and we'll get out of here one day soon. I'm Detroit. Um, I've been off and on Skid Row since 1981, and um, joining the cast of Lost Angels like has been a, having a rude awakening. Um, I don't think about uh, the past in the sense of what I need to get from the producers and directors. Um, I just hope that when you see the film that you can see where I started half of my journey from my life and now you can see now where I'm just now beginning to live. And so there is hope and you know, just keep doing it. You know? And I know a lot of you people out there, and you guys know me, and I have my good days, and I have my bad days, and then I have my worst days, but I'm just thankful just to have another day. And I love Linda, Miss Molly, I miss them all. Miss Casey also is no longer with us, and I miss her too. And on the behalf of KK also, I stand here because um, there was a many a days when, you know, he should be standing here, and I know that I shouldn't, and I just, I just, I'm Leilani, and um, when I think about this film, Lost Angels, really 
we thank the producers and we thank everyone involved, even the sacrifice of KK, that this song, really these are angels that somebody found. We were probably lost within ourselves. So we are angels that were actually found. I'm a little nervous right now, but thank you, Susan, for producing this film. Anyway, so thank you so much. I hope you enjoy watching our film one more time. Thank you, Kevin Michael. Okay. Thank you all, everybody, once again. Let me say this. Skid Row is infectious, it's contagious, and it's a lot different than we've been portrayed in many mass media narratives, which is why um, this particular movie, I'll tell you, it's rather raw, but it's real. And so, um, rather than me standing up and trying to um, narrate, because you know I can do something like that, but I'm not going to do it today. <laughs> what, what, what I would like to do now, um, first of all, uh, where's Austin? Austin loved Linda. Austin came down here, say a few words, and then we're going to go straight to the movie. You're a good guy, man. Linda loved you, brother. Linda would have popped him over the head for calling people out like this, but that's all good. I will just say one thing. I love you, Linda. I love you so much. And, you know, hey, we got something to look forward to, right? So that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything. Linda was amazing. If you knew her, you loved her. Or yeah. you, I don't know. I don't know you didn't. I don't know what to say, man. I, I love Linda. She was an amazing person. I'm really sad that she was go that she's gone. But like someone had said earlier, it's gonna happen to all of us. So let's get right with ourselves, right? All right.